Oh, hi guys, it's Bob from Grey Beer Models. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so I was trying to decide what was going to be the next next step, the next build. Um, as you saw, if you saw my stash update video the other day, um, we've got quite a few kits and there's quite a few kits that I've actually got in the stash that weren't in that stash update. Um, things that I've just got over the time, over time, and just got hold of them and and whatever. Uh, I'm really tempted um, to go and do another F30 truck, the wireless truck. I've got uh, oh, load of traffic outside. Um, uh, I think the thing to do is just go ahead and and do the brand gun carrier in one sixteenth scale uh, together with the engine because um, you'll have seen those of you who've been looking the, that uh, they've got the the one kit which I, of course I should have got ready which is this model of the uh, the V8 engine from the Universal Carrier would have been easier if I got these out anyway um, and then you've got the the 1 16th scale Universal Carrier kit um, the Carrier kit doesn't come with an engine um, which is why you've really got to buy that. <laughs> so what I thought I'd do is, actually I'll do the two. So I was going to do an unboxing, but do I do an unboxing of two kits or just the one? I don't know. It's just like I was trying to think of which way round to do this. I mean, it'd be straightforward to build the engine, get that all sorted out, get that all prepared and then move on to doing the universal carrier. So that's what I'm going to do. So first things first, we'll look at the engine and uh, we'll do an unboxing of that. So I'll be back with you shortly. Right, before we get to the unboxing, let's have a look at a couple of things. As you all know, I do like my books. So, um, I actually have three books in, in my stash of books for references. And the first one is this one. This is the uh, Bren Gun Carrier book by Robert Jackson. It's an uh, excellent, excellent piece of work. There's the barcode. Um, it's uh, part of the Landcraft range by Pen and Sword, I think it is. Yeah, Pen and Sword. Um, and it has some great pictures of um, Universal Carriers, a number of pic pictures of um, kit built uh, examples by various manufacturers, various builders, and great pictures of, of the prototype vehicle and paint schemes and things really good book well worth finding um you can you can get these they're still about you can get these um the other book that i've got is um this one here this is by new vanguard on osprey publishing uh universal carrier 1936 to 48 the brain gun carrier story by david fletcher um there's the barcode there. Um, great little book. One of the best things is this picture here, which gives you a sort of cut through die. Well, oh, can't see it, the glare. Uh, it gives you a sort of cutaway diagram of the layout of the Universal Carrier. And again, it gives you lots and lots of pictures, goes through the history of the vehicles, uh, and gives you examples. Um, and there's the, the big picture that's on the, on the cover of the book. Um, really, really useful book. 
uh, tells you where they, a lot of them were built. Um, a lot of them were built in Canada and, and Australia. But uh, yeah, another good book that's worth having. And this book here, which is part of the Army Wheels in Detail collection, uh, it's their AW13. Uh, these are produced, I think, in, in Poland, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but there's the barcode for it. Um, is it Poland? I think I said Poland, and I don't think it is. Um, but uh, anyway, it's... Uh, oh, sorry about that. Again, lots of good photographs. This is particularly based around the um, the Lloyd Carrier. It's a, it's a different version of the same thing. Um, one of the things I like about this particular uh, book, it's got loads of examples of the Lloyd Carrier, but it's also got some really good photos of, of the, the VA engine. Um, and some good diagrams here um, explaining the use of it because it was used on the Lloyd as well as the, the Universal Carrier. So, it, it, again, very, very useful book. Anyway, moving on. So, it's a good, it's a good box. Um, nice picture on the front, as you've seen. Um, and comes in a typical... Um, deco style box if I can get it open um, where you get the, the sort of outer picture sleeve thing if you like oh, you see um, and then it comes in a really cool um, box these, these, I, I really do like this so first and foremost I won't get this out this is the stand if you were going to build this kit and have have it sort of sat there on the shelf there's a stand for it. Um, there's another. I do like the way they do this. The little Ziploc bags. Um, these are the sort of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fan belt. There's the fan belts and the radiator and the radiator sort of hoses. And um, these are the where the HT leads go um, to the spark plugs and then you've got this bag where you've got essentially the parts to the engine really straightforward um, there's some plastic wires which are the spark plug leads and there's some a couple of little brackets there um, at a photo edge Let's move the box out of the way. Um, again, reproduction of the cover and universal carrier Mark One and Two Ford V8 engine in one sixteenth scale. Really, oh, I really quite like that picture. Um, so, a typical format for for gecko on the inside page. Uh, read before assembly up there. I'll well, get that in, in shot read before assembly and the icon instructions here fairly straightforward um, and then it just goes through the assembly of uh, the motor the engine and uh, got various parts there uh, it then does a really neat thing uh, with the spark plug leads they go how long each spark plug lead is and then you put that together and then assembly of the air filter and um, I, think that's, I think that's a distributor those of you out there who know will let me know I'm sure um, and then you go on to assembling the fan belts and the fan and putting them onto the engine block and then assembling this PE bracket which holds these um, I think I think they're the fuel lines I'm not entirely sure 
but it certainly looks something like that anyway um, that all goes together and then it has oh, missed that on the last part here is essentially the mounting brackets uh, to put it onto the stand um, and then it gives you color call outs um, for some reason they've got the color call outs for mission models but uh, fairly set standard there's white aluminium silver green brass tire black and black um, I think it, I think it looked actually really good um, set up on the stand there is a brass plate in with the photo etch really good so before we go any further what I wanted to do was look at these parts here um, and see if they're required when you go to build the actual universal carrier so I'm just going to move that and we've got the instructions here for the universal carrier and I know because I've looked through this there is a, a point where there you go section 19 so section 19 um, has the V8 engine being inserted and there's the radiator so I don't think you need the radiator from from the actual kit as it's sort of showing it there and that looks like the parts in this kit for the radiator and I can't see an underside to show the mountings although that looks like one of them one of the posts and that goes down to this post here and this point here on the base and these two things which I think are the fuel fuel lines look like they go down here onto the floor area without looking at the kit I don't know uh, because these two are the actual fuel tanks so we'll come back to this at another point and we'll get on with preparing the parts for the engine build all right we're back in a sec well i was going to go on to have a look at the the actual um universal carrier but having looked at the at the parts for the for the engine i've decided to go ahead and start prepping the parts as i say for for the paint on that so i've i've gone into that um so that's about it for now um obviously when we come back for the next one if, <laughs> to be honest the, the the engine's brilliant um it won't take long to get this finished i think so probably the next the next video on this will be uh be the engine finished i think and ready to go in the carrier but uh anyway thanks for watching thanks for listening to me dribbling on and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.